Hi everyone, this is Professor Marin here with another topic that is angiosperms. This has been taken from chapter 3, subject biology for class 11. Okay, let's move on. So, what are angiosperms? Angiosperms are nothing but the flowering plants. So, jo, jo bhi plant, jo, no, jis mein bhi aap fool dekhte hain, wo sab angiosperms ke antargat aate hain. Aur ye jo different varieties of flowers hum jo dekhte hain, that is due to co-evolution of flowering plants and pollinator species such as birds, bats, insects, etc. Kyunki ye paudhe pollinators ke upar bohut depend karte hain, so, जिस तरह ये pollinators का evolution हुआ है, उसी तरह ये angiosperms का भी evolution हुआ है. Okay, earlier angiosperms were grouped into two types. So, earlier we used to know only two types of angiosperm, that is monocotyledons and dicotyledons. Monocotyledons जिसमें single cotyledon होता है, उनके seeds में, dicotyledons जिसमें दो cotyledons होते हैं. Okay, for example, peanuts. Peanuts, you have seen when you eat it, when you eat it, there are two cotyledons. So, that belongs to dicotyledons. Whereas, rice, which we eat, is only one cotyledon. So, that belongs to monocotyledon. So, earlier, as I said, angiosperms were divided into monocotyledons and dicotyledons based on the morphological characters. But recently, they are classified into three groups based on DNA analysis. ये कुछ नया है, तो please I want you to you know look into it, remember it. Okay, based on DNA analysis or you can say based on phylogeny. So here uh, they have been grouped into the magnolite complex. Okay, where you can say magnolias and laurels come into picture, and monocots and then you have the U dicot. So these are the three uh, you know, uh, types of angiosperms which have been classified based on the DNA analysis or phylogeny. Then uh, this is the basic difference that's what uh, as I said earlier uh, whatever they had been classified as monocot and dicot. Okay. So the basic classification is as I said monocots contain one cotyledon. Here is the makka. Okay, just me, uh, cotyledon with this e cotai. Whereas dicotyledon, it has two cotyledons, two halves like uh, ground net. Okay, then the roots are fibrous in case of monocotyledons, whereas here in dicotyledons, they are mostly tap roots. Yes, so you can see the difference. Then the vascular system here it is scattered. Whereas here it is ringed. So, you have a proper arrangement hai, vascular uh, system. Ka, whereas here it is scattered. Then, here you can say the venation, jo, uh, leaves mein jo veins, hote hai, lines, hote hai, okay, wo parallel, hota hai, mostly parallel. Hota hai. Whereas in case of dicots, they are network like. Okay, just like arm ke patte hote hai, waise. Then, uh, multiples of three the flowers okay kyunki jo petals hote hain wo three hote hain ya fir six hote hain ya fir nine hote hain aise multiples of three paaye jate hain whereas in case of uh, dicot uh, flowers you can see four or five you know the number of petals then flowers in angiosperms contain different parts having specific uh, functions so flower structure hum yahan pe uh, padhenge so typical flower has calyx. So जो सबसे बाहर का हिस्सा होता है उसको calyx बोलते हैं, okay? जो हरे रंग का होता है. And uh, that is formed by the you know presence of sepals. So individual units are called as sepals. उसके बाद जो colorful होता है, जो pink, yellow, उन पत्ते जिनको बोलते हैं, मतलब फूल के पत्ते. That is nothing but the corolla, okay? That is petals. Okay? The corolla is nothing but group of petals. Then you have andrisium. That is the male sex organ. That is nothing but the stamen which contain anther and filament and we have gynecium that is the female reproductive organ which contain the pistils or you can say carpels which contain stigma, style and ovary and within the ovary there is ovule and within the ovule there will be the ovum or the egg which is attached to the receptacle on a peduncle. So peduncle jo hota hai, wo danda hota hai flower ka jisse ki wo plant ke stem se attach rehta hai. So that's about the structure. I want you to have a look at this structure. This is a picture of uh, a hibiscus flower where you can see the different parts. So this is the outermost layer, okay, where uh, sepal, sepals pa pa jate and group of sepals is known as calyx. And then comes the corolla, 
where uh, you can see the petals here so group of petals is known as corolla then you have the andrisium which contains these stamens yes yeah and the stamen contains the anther filament sorry yeah anther filament okay which is attached to the base of the flower then you have the gynecium this is the gynecium or the female reproductive organ which consists of stigma, style and the ovary. Ovary ke antargat kya hai? Ovule hai. Ovule ke antar kya hota hai? Eggs hote hai. Okay. So, this is the structure of flower. Then, what about the function of each structure of flower? Now, the petals. The petals are usually, you know, large and uh, uh, they're colorful and they attract insects or you can say they attract the pollinators. Then, sepals. Sepals they protect the flower while in bud. जब ये bud या kali होते हैं, तो जो petals के ऊपर क्या होता है कि एक green color का coat जैसा covering जैसा होता है. So वो that is nothing but the sepal. So sepals protect the flower while in bud. Then petiole या फिर stalk जो होता है, डंडा जो होता है, फूल का डंडा नीचे का. So that supports the flower to make it easy, easily seen by the insects and to be able to withstand the wind so ye uh, thoda physical support deta hai uh, jor ka jo uh, koi hawa chal rahi hai ya fir you know any any anybody try to just shake the plant it should not just fall off so usi ke wajah se so that is one of the function of this particular stalk then nectary nectary uh, it produces nectar which again attracts the insects for and helpful in pollination then you have stamen this is the male reproductive uh, part of the flower and it consists of the anther and the filament then anther you know it consists of the um, you know the st circular structure i wanted to have a look at this particular picture okay it is not that i will I'll, I'll show you here yes so this is the anther here yes these consist of anther lobes within which the male gametes are formed or you can say the uh, pollen grains are formed okay and within the pollen grains you have the male gamete then what about the filament? Filament again supports the anther. Then carpal. Carpal is nothing but the unit of the female reproductive organ. Okay. Which consists of again stigma, style and ovary. Then stigma is a sticky part. Jo yahan pe jo st uh, stigma dekh rahe hain. So jo ye jo hai, ye stigma hota hai. Ye bhoot sticky hota hai. Jiske upar ki pollen grains achche se, you know, stick ho sake so that the pollen tube tube will be formed and further fertilization will occur so that is the purpose of stigma okay so that's about the plant uh, flower structure then you have the style which links the stigma to the ovary through which the pollen tube enters so if the pollen grain is the pollen tube form hota hai, jo ki jo flower ke andar tak ja ke, pe jo egg hota hai, usko fertilize karta hai, hai? and then you have the ovary that contains the ovules which develop into seeds when fertilized so that's the structure of flower now based on the structure you can differentiate the uh, you know, flowers into three types or you can say four types uh, which can be complete flowers so abhi jo aapne structure dekha wo complete flower ka tha jisme all the basic you know structures are present like the calyx corolla where is it? Yeah, calyx, corolla, andrisium, and gynecium. So, all these basic structures are present. For example, hibiscus. There are certain types of flowers which can be called as incomplete flowers. Okay, they lack at least one of the basic parts. Shayad usme corolla nahi hai, ya fir calyx nahi hai, ya fir andrisium nahi hai, ya fir gynecium nahi hai. So, koi bhi ek part absent rahega. For example, begonia. Then you have staminate flowers which lack gynecium. So they are called uh, again example is Zia Mace. So Zia Mace mein uh, aapko do tere ke flowers mil jate hain. E to ek to staminate flowers hai jo male flower hai jis mein sirf stamens hote hain. Aur dousra hai carpalate flowers jis mein uh, jo ki females hai jis mein sirf female uh, reproductive unit hote hain. So these also come under incomplete flowers since they lack you know specific part of the plant or flowers hoi. So, this is Zia Mace, which is the Makkah. In this way, there are two flowers. So, these are the ones what you can see. Yes. Yeah, where is that? Yeah. 
सो दीज आर द वंस विच कल दीज आर नथिंग बट द स्टेमिनेट फ्लावर्स स्टेमिनेट मतलब कि मेल फ्लावर्स जिसमें स्टेमन्स होते हैं वेर एज हियर दीज आर द वंस विच यू कैन सी दे आर नथिंग बट द कार्पलेट फ्लावर्स ओके सो यहाँ जो ये सब होते हैं ये कार्पलेट फ्लावर्स होते हैं दैट इज फीमेल फ्लावर्स देन फैक्टर्स एफेक्टिंग फ्लावरिंग सो फ्लावर्स जो फॉर्म होते हैं वो कैसे फॉर्म होते हैं या फिर क्या उनको एफेक्ट करता है ओके द मेन एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर इन्फ्लुएंसिंग फ्लावरिंग आर द टेम्परेचर एंड डे लेंथ और द फोटो पीरियड सो दिस नॉट ओनली अबाउट फ्लावरिंग इट ऑल्सो अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द प्लांट ओके सो द टेम्परेचर हियर इज वन ऑफ द फैक्टर विच इन्फ्लुएंस द रेट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट इट इन्फ्लुएंस द रेट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट एंड द नंबर ऑफ फ्लावर्स विच कैन बी प्रोड्यूस विच कैन प्रोड्यूस मेच्योर सीड्स ओके दैन डे लेंथ डे लेंथ और इट इज़ ऑल्सो नोन एज फोटो पीरियड फोटो पीरियड जहाँ की हम पौधों को फोट लाइट को लाइट को एक्सपोज करते हैं ओके सो दे गेट एक्सपोज टू द लाइट दैट्स वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज फोटो पीरियड सो हाउ लॉन्ग डू दे गेट एक्सपोज टू द लाइट सो दैट इज दैट प्लेज अ वेरी मेजर रोल ओके इन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू फ्लावरिंग इट कंट्रोल्स द ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द प्लांट एज इट एफेक्ट्स फोटो सिंथिस एंड हैंस एफेक्ट्स फ्लावरिंग then uh, these are the different types of flowers and you can see like how long do they stay in the uh, light okay sunlight and then what is the effect and what about the examples so ye hai type of plant so based on the length of the day or uh, you know uh, length of the day which has been during which the flower has been exposed to the sunlight so based on that we have three types that is short day plants then days uh, day neutral plants and long day plants short day plants as the name indicate they you know they get exposed to the sunlight uh, below 12 hours okay then here the flowering during short day short days uh, and long nights so since the days are short you can say the nights are long and hence flower occurs uh, flowering occurs during short days and long nights स्पेशली ड्यूरिंग लेट समर्स एंड स्प्रिंग्स एंड ऑटम्स जहाँ पर रात लंबी होती है सो उन उन टाइम्स में आप शॉर्ट डे प्लांट्स को फ्लावर करते हुए देख सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्रिसेंटम एस्टर सोयाबीन वेर इज डे न्यूट्रल प्लांट्स हियर डे लेंथ डज नॉट एफेक्ट द फ्लावरिंग सो यहाँ पर ज़्यादा कुछ एफेक्ट नहीं होता है तो दिस इज़ अराउंड लाइक हाफ हाफ ऑफ द डे दैट इज़ अराउंड ट्वेल्व आवर्स सो ट्वेल्व आवर्स सो नॉट मच एफेक्ट ऑन फ्लावरिंग ओके एंड द एग्जाम्पल्स आर टोमेटोज रोजेस पीस सो जनरल नॉर्मल फ्लावरिंग अकर्स दिया वेर इज इन लॉन्ग डे प्लांट्स वॉट हैपन द फ्लावर फ्लावरिंग अकर्स ड्यूरिंग लॉन्ग डेज एंड शॉर्ट नाइट सिंस दिन जो होता है लंबा होता है तो रात ऑब्वियसली छोटे होते हैं स्पेशली इन समर्स ओके सो फ्लावरिंग देर आर स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ प्लांट्स विच फ्लावर ओनली ड्यूरिंग समर्स एंड ही आर द फोटो पीरियड विल बी लॉन्गर दैन ट्वेल्व आवर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्पिनैच लेट्यूस रेडिश एक्सेट्रा सो दैट्स अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्लांट्स बेस्ड ऑन फ्लावरिंग दैन पॉलिनेशन एंड फर्टिलाइजेशन दीज टू इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस आर नेसेसरी एंड कंपल्सरी फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एंजो स्पर्म्स सो एंजो स्पर्म्स रिप्रोड्यूस बाई सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन मेथड सो द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन आर नोन एज द स्टेमेंट्स दैट यू नो which is present uh, within the ring of the petals and each stamen consists of two parts the anther which is the swollen part i have already told you and the filament okay the anther is the one which contains the pollen grains yes yeah and these these are these are nothing but you know these are the ones which actually give rise to male gametes then this is the structure of anther and this has been cut okay it's a section of uh, anther here where you can see lobes of anthers okay so anther lobes hote hain jiske andar ke pollen grains hote hain and this is the filament which is attached to the anther so both together is known as stamen that is the male reproductive organ the female reproductive organ which i have already explained they are nothing but the carpel which is present in the center of the flower and consist of three parts stigma style and ovary so this i have already explained so i am not going to continue with this so let's move on so that's about the sexual part the male part and the female part that is and andrisium and gynesium 
Now, pollination. What is pollination? It is nothing but the transfer of pollen grains from anther onto the stigma of the carpel. Okay. Or, or you hope, I hope you are understanding what I am trying to say. So, the transfer of pollen grains from anther onto the stigma of a, a gynecium or the carpel due to which the male gametes are able to combine with female gametes. So, jaise wo girte hai stigma pe, they don't combine immediately. There is a long process. So, spores jo hote, hote, jo hote, uh, pollen grains jo hote, unko germinate hona hai, pollen tube form hona hai. And then the pollen tube will enter deep into the carpal. Then it will reach the ovary. And then in the ovary, it will, you know, reach the egg. So, the male gamete hota hai, wo upar stigma se leke, the pollen grains jo ho, isme jo hote hai, wo stigma se leke pollen tube mein jate hai, pollen tube mein jake, ovary mein jate hai, phir jake, ande se aur egg se milkar, wo fuse hokar zygote bante hai, okay. So, this is brought about by pollinating agents. So, the pollination is brought about by pollinating agents like insects, like bees, butterflies, birds, wind, water, etc. So, isi tarah se aur inke wajay se pollination hote hai. Now, types of pollination. There is a type error. Uh, please, T-Y-P-E-S it should be. Types of pollination. There is self-pollination and cross-pollination. So, I don't want to just read here. I want to show you here. So, this is what is self-pollination where the pollen grains of the anther of a flower is transferred onto the stigma of the same flower. That is what is called as self-pollination. So, again, the transfer of pollen grains from one flower to the flower to the stigma of the same flower or to another flower of the same plant. Okay. So, ye flower jo hai, wo us ek hi flower hai, jis mein anther se pollen grain jump ho ke, ya fir, you know, it is transferred by the pollinating agent onto the stigma of the same flower or onto the stigma of another flower on the same plant. So, that is what is called as self-pollination. So, paudha ek hi hota hai. So, usi mein pollination hota hai. That is self-pollination. Cross-pollination where the pollen grains of uh, from, uh, from anther of one plant, okay, from the anther of the flower of the one plant is transferred to the stigma of the, uh, you know, stigma of the flower of another plant of similar species is known as cross-pollination.